um, we're going to ask you a few questions and you just need to answer them honestly, okay? Sure. Perfect. Sure, we'll do the best. Sure. Okay. In this last year, have the graduates ever interrupted you to complain in class? I study every day. You can be a 95. I need a hundred. You did an excellent job. If I don't get a hundred, I'll never make it. I'm telling my mother. On to the new project, all right? No, not really. I mean, that happens in other years, but not with this class, no. Have they ever wasted class time by telling off-topic stories? My students? Never. They're the best students in the world. They always stay on topic. Oh yes, do you have anything to add to the discussion? Yeah, I went to the mall yesterday and we had such an amazing time and I met some friends. We, we yeah, the, the, that store of Forever 21. I love that place, right. don't you? They had all and the beanies and oh my gosh. Have any of them just completely zoned out in the middle of a crucial lesson? Well, honestly, um, I try and keep class fun and consistent. Um, so, boys, please open uh, your books to page 132 and question number five. Page 132, question number five. Well, I can't really recall a moment when they um, zoned out. Have they asked any unnecessary or unwanted questions this year? These kids have been here for so long, we don't really get that in eighth grade, so no, I'd say no. Hey, Mr. Carp, what are we doing today? Well, this is math class, so we're just gonna continue doing our math from yesterday. Well, do we have an assignment? Just wait till the end of the lesson. I'll tell you if we have an assignment. Don't, just follow me, please. Okay. Mr. Carp, what are we doing today? Look, girls, please. I will never have a class where you don't know what we're doing today. I will always tell you what we're doing. Please, take a seat. Mr. Carp, what is T? T is literally the problem. Have any of them ever left their desk during a lesson without permission? At this age, they know that during class, they've got to sit in their desks, pay attention. They wouldn't get up without my instruction. All right, class, this is a really complicated piece, so I need you. Where are you going? My pencil. All right, like I said, I need you guys to focus now from beginning to end. And now where are you going? My notebook. To be honest, I can't remember a time when any of those things happened this year with this class. It was so much fun. I got to see all my friends. I went shopping. I bought hats and shoes. What's this tea going on in a mess? You know, I'm going to get my 93, and then you don't think it's going to affect me, but I'm never going to get a job, and then I'm just going to be homeless and be by myself. Miss Liat Shoshana Aberman. Miss Hannah Arazi. Master Yaniv Ben Shimon. Master Kaleo Bolton. Miss Hannah Miriam Shana Borsodi. Master Yitzhak Borsodi.
Miss Itta Brownstein. Master Mendel Bronstein. Master Yona Sherman. Miss Nahama Rivka Grossman. Miss Rifki Harley. Master Aaron Kalman. Miss Golda Pearl Kim. Miss Manuha Golda Medal. Miss Sarah Bowery. Miss Hannah Channel. Miss Nahama Yarman. Hi, my name is Yuchi Vasodi. I was born in California and have been coming to DTA since I was in first grade. Hi, my name is Mendel Brunstein. I was born right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been coming to Desert Tour Academy ever since I can remember. Hello, my name is Nahami Yarmak. I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been coming to DTA ever since nursery. Hi, my name is Khana Borsodi. I was born in Tarzana, California, and I've been coming to DTA since the first grade. Hi, my name is Golda Metal. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and I've been coming to DTA ever since nursery. Hello, my name is Itta Brownstein. I was born in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and I have been attending DTA since fifth grade. Hi, my name is Cleo Bolton. I was born in Las Vegas, and I've been coming to DTA ever since kindergarten. Hi, my name is Aaron Kelman. I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I've been going to DTA since second grade. My name is Hannah Shanowitz and I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada. I have been coming to DTA since nursery. Hi, my name is Nacham Rifka Grossman. I was born in New York and I've been coming to DTA ever since fifth grade. Hi, my name is Rifki Harlig. I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada and I've been coming to Desert Tour Academy probably since the day I was born. Hi, my name is Hannah Razi. I was born in Woodland Hills, California and I've been coming to DTA ever since second grade. Hi, my name is Goldie Kim. I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I've been coming to DTA ever since I was in nursery. Hi, my name is Leah Averman. I was born in Henderson, Nevada, and I've been coming to DTA since third grade. Hi, my name is Jonas Sumcha-Cherman. 
I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California, and I started going to DTA this year. My name is Sarah Mowry. I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been going to DTA for five years off and on. Hi, my name is Eni Ben Shimon, and I was born in Las Vegas, and I came to DTA when I was 12 and in sixth grade. Next year, I plan on going to a Lubavitch High School. Yeshiva out of town. To Adelson. Hebrew Academy and Huntington Beach. I plan on attending a Terrace Bunos at I'll be going to a Chabad High School out of town. Next year, I plan on going to a Jewish High School. To a Terrace Bunos at Lubavitch Girls High School in Chicago. Dural Red Rock here in Las Vegas. A Terrace Bunos at I will be going to Yoak, a Yeshiva in Los Angeles. I'll be going to a local high school. Adelson Educational at Campus. Tara Spinos Eta. Next year I will be going to a local high school. Next year I'm going to a yeshiva in Israel and I see myself in the future as a baker. Somewhere in the medical field. Pediatric nurse. I see myself as an engineer. The shlucha of the Rebbe hopefully here in Las Vegas. I see myself as being a lawyer in the future. Being in the medical field. I see myself as becoming an emergency room doctor. I see myself being a labor and delivery nurse with a family and making the world a better place. My greatest memory in DTA is all the Shabbat tones and fun trips and spending time with my classmates. The winter trip, it was really filled with joy and excitement. All the fun times with my friends in class and on school trips. My greatest memories were meeting all my friends here. The winter trip and the Shabbat tones. I really liked the winter trip of seventh grade to Zion National Park. Getting a really good grade on an assignment I worked really hard on. The graduation trip at Universal Studios with Yitzhi Borsodi, where we got free passes to every single ride. And so my memories is when I baked challah. The first day of third grade, right when I walked into the new school, I felt like I already knew everyone and they were really nice and I could fit in right away. One of my greatest accomplishments at DTA was the perm shuttle. Coming here and making so many new friends. Getting past eighth grade. Going a whole day without visiting my mother in her classroom. Making it to the dean's list and making lifetime friendships. Getting my first 100% on one of my ELA stories. Relearning how to write and read Hebrew all over again. Being elected student body president. An accomplishment from this year at DTA is showing up to Zoom every day at 9 a.m. All my hard work, creative projects, and staying true to all my values. My advice for future 8th graders is to turn your work in on time. Do your homework. Work hard. To make the best out of everything. To enjoy every moment because you don't know when it's going to be your last one at DTA. Have fun. Always focus on the next step. Listen to your teachers. Take advantage of the time you have here and do your best. Don't fight over your hoodies. Do not graduate during a pandemic. And don't fall in the footsteps of my class and have an actual and real graduation. What I will miss about DTA is having family at every corner. I will miss all my friends and the activities that we do during school. All my friends and the staff here. When I leave DTA, I will miss the feeling of having a second family. Great teachers that have always been so supportive. All my friends and teachers. The warm environment all the teachers and all the kids. All of my friends and the staff and um, going to school every day and just knowing I'm gonna have a great day. I will miss most all my friends and all my teachers and all the rolly chairs that I rolled around the computer lab in. I would recommend DTA to someone else because of the positive and helpful staff. It is a great learning and Jewish environment to be in. I'd recommend DTA to someone else because of the sense of community that's here. The great learning. It's a great school, there is great academics, you make lots of friends and great memories and the teachers make it all more enjoyable. I would recommend DTA to someone else because all the teachers are amazing and everyone is really nice in the school. Everyone knows you and your personality and it just gives a sense of welcoming. In comparison to my other school that I was attending before fifth grade, this school has taught me so much more and so many more lessons and it really taught me how to grow up and be mature. I would recommend Desert Tour Academy to somebody else because there's no better school around. A positive way COVID-19 has affected me this year is that I've been doing better on my work and learning um, by learning online. Becoming closer to my friends because I call them every day. I have been getting a lot more sleep and therefore my studies have been a lot better. It helped me get my work done at home. It's made me appreciate all the small things in life because it can be taken away from you very quickly. I'm grateful with everything I have and I always look on the positive side of things. 
COVID-19 situation showed me that Hashem runs the world and everything is in Hashem's hands. But I appreciate even the little things to know that Hashem really runs the world. COVID-19 has affected me in helping me learn how to adjust to new environments and new situations. Hamal, I'm very proud of you. You've accomplished straight A's. You're very smart and you're very kind and giving to your friends. And I'm very thankful to everyone here at DTA that made this possible for you. I know you're going to achieve a lot. You're a go-getter. And I'm very proud of you. I love you. Yitzi Bear, Yitzi. I'm very proud of you. You embody what your name means, laughter and life. You are a leader. You are very witty. And you're going to be very successful in whatever you choose to do. And I'm very thankful again to DTA that they allowed us to come here. I love you. Uh, Mendel, I can't actually believe that this day is really here. What a whirlwind of a year this has been. We're not in a place where we would have imagined, but we're still celebrating your graduation. And um, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to tell you how proud Mommy and Abba are. Ever since you were very young, you were always interested and curious about everything around you. And while you're not so young anymore, a lot of that quality has really continued to grow with you. And I want to give you a bracha that those qualities that shaped who you are today should continue to help you and propel you um, into such growth that will just help you along your path, becoming a chassid, your shmaim and alamdan, and we're so proud of you, and we're so appreciative of everything you do to help us as a family and in our shluchas, and we love you very much. Mendel, you're much more important. Wow, you're graduating. It's hard to believe you have the whole life ahead of you. We're very proud of everything that you've done. I want to just give you a bracha. You have lots of strengths. You have lots of good qualities. You go things all the way through. Continue with that strength to go through everything you want to do. And you'll achieve everything you want to do. You continue to make us proud. Give Hashem nachas. Mazel tov, Nechami. I knew you could do it. You really worked hard, gave it your all in all your subjects and got amazing grades. We are very proud of you and hope that you are too and know that you can do it. You can do anything that you put your mind to. Best of luck in high school and keep making us proud. We love you. Okay, Mazel Tov Dukhami. So this is the end of the year, but we're looking for another good year with you. And uh, yes, it's a very auspicious time. It's also a crazy time. So it's a mazel tov to the family, mazel tov to everyone, and mazel tov to uh, DTA. I want to tell you how proud I am of you and uh, congratulate you on uh, reaching this uh, momentous occasion. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch you grow, not just physically, but also as a, as a person. I think you have matured wonderfully, and uh, you've been a tremendous help to me. And I'm very proud of you, and I love you a lot. So congratulations, you made it through this. I'm proud of you. You know, I believe that if you aim for the moon, you'll fall upon the stars. I want you to keep yourself inquisitive and just ask a lot of questions and grow and believe in yourself. I'm proud of you. We are very proud of you. And we both know, Mami and Ava, that whatever you put your mind to, we believe that you are gonna achieve it. And we wish you all the best in everything that you do. We really love you. Mr. Shem, I hope that the uh, future will bring you some uh, good things. You should use the uh, positive uh, energy, which happens to be the, uh, so the Russia Tavis, the uh, acronyms of your name is Chamerif Grossman's NRG, which is energy. May you will hopefully follow in the footsteps of your grandparents, great grandparents, and parents, and, and, and be a, a leader and a role model for, and, and bring everybody nachas. Hannah, I just want to congratulate you on graduating 8th grade from DTA. I want you to know that your namesake, your Safta Hana, would be very proud of you, especially with the fact that she was an educator for over 30 years teaching uh, Jewish studies. And I uh, want to wish the entire DTA staff uh, mazel tov and thank you uh, staff and administration.
Hannah, we're so proud of the growth that you've made and how much you've learned at DTA. One thing that I want you to take away from this is how DTA can be flexible, like with COVID-19 happening and how they, in two days time, turned around and started online learning and did it with the, to the best of their ability, which is amazing. I want you to take that flexibility and move forward in your life and take that as a lesson. Liat, congratulations. You made it all the way through to eighth grade. You're going to high school, I can't believe it. You've done an amazing job in every single class. Um, I don't think that you've, you've really struggled at all because you work so hard. I'm very proud of you. You get the best effort out of, out of every year that you've been here. You've, you've really put a lot of effort into it. I'm proud of the way you've uh, grown uh, with your friends emotionally and um, you know, turn into a young lady already. So I think you've got an amazing head start and I think you're gonna do great in high school. Well, Liat, look at this. We're here for your eighth grade graduation video. What a crazy year it's been. Six months ago, your biggest concern was student council and who is gonna be valedictorian? Now you're doing Zoom classroom taking care of two babies. And still graduating with really great grades. So stepping out of here, going into high school, you know what you can handle. A lot of the stories that I've read about the Rebbe, he would always tell somebody to put more on his plate, to do more, to make himself stronger. and. You've shown the ability to do that. <clears throat> now with leaving DTA, it's your chance to go find your own relationship with God, and your own relationship with Judaism. Golda, we are so excited that you finally hit this milestone, eighth grade. Whew. You've gone through lots of assignments and projects and amazing creative stuff that you've been doing all year long, late nights, a lot of tests, a lot of really cool activities, and I really have seen you grown through it. And I am so proud of you. A lot of things that you thought were gonna be way too hard, you just worked hard and made it through. And I think that you could take that with you wherever you go and continue being a really positive example to your siblings and to all the friends around you. You just have been an amazing daughter, student, and role model, and we're so proud of you. Golda, I am so proud of all the accomplishments, the hard work that you put in to your schoolwork, but most importantly, I am so proud of you of how you stood up for students, your classmates, making sure that they feel comfortable in school and reaching out to the underdogs and just being a great example of what it means to care about someone which to me is even more important than achieving great grades and great in your schoolwork. Hatzlacha Rabba, wherever you go. Mazda Veta, on your eighth grade graduation, you have done so unbelievably well since coming to DTA, but of course even before that. And we are just so proud of all the accomplishments that you've made in learning, and just your growth as a mature, soon to be adult. For you, Ita, I just want you to keep doing what you're doing because between your, the work that you're putting in, uh, in, in your vocal lessons to develop that skill, you have so many amazing talents, so many amazing skills, and you are dedicated to seeing yourself be the best in everything that you put yourself to. So, I know you're going to continue to make us proud and to be so successful in whatever you choose. So we're gonna play a little game for Itta to figure out her message. I am so proud of you. Oh, come on. <laughs> this has been a bumpy ride. Wow, you're good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I do this a lot on Instagram. <laughs> but you got here with good grades and a happy, Heart, you are going to do so well in high school. I do think you do this good. <laughs> Never stop. Get us. Yeah. 
Okay, never stop singing. Um, okay, never stop singing unless I ask you to. And always be as happy and carefree as you are now. I love you. Art. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Honey, I'm so proud of you that you did it. You make me really happy and I love you so much. Hana, we are so proud of you for reaching this milestone. Throughout the years, you've grown and matured and you've grown into someone that we're very proud of. And you should continue to give us a lot of nachas. You should grow to be a Bas Chabad. You should continue to be a, an example, a leader to those around you. Being that you are the seventh child in our family, you have a special place in our hearts, Kol Shvein Chavivin, and we wish you lots of Hatzlacha. Mazel Tov. Chana, I am so overwhelmed with joy that you're reaching this moment in your life. It was so good to see you grow. I'm so proud of you. You know, the word Chana has the word Chain. Ha Chain, you have a special charm, a special smile. And you do so well when you say those Divrei Torah that they teach you here at DTA. You articulate it so well. You have such a great future of sharing Torah wisdom and beautiful things. And you remember those days of the Corona? You remember those days that there was a lot of children at home and any time I would ask you, take care of the little one. You always never hesitated and you're always there to help. I'm so, so proud of you, Hannah. I just wish you should know that you, you're a family of shluchim and the Rebbe is proud of you and you should continue to do the shlichus. You're in a great army and you have the schus to bring Mashiach even closer. You're gonna be successful. Always be happy, always be strong have always good faith and strength and simcha and will merit the coming of Mashiach. I love you so much. Okay, Rabbi, we're gonna be filming for Rafi's eighth grade graduation, but before we do that, I need you to do a couple things. Um, these six radios, each has to go to dip six different classrooms. I need this stuff to go to the teacher's lounge. I have like four bags in the back trunk, bring them in, one goes to the cafeteria, one goes to this storage closet, one's gonna be here. And on your way, just stop off. I think they need like toilet paper in pre-K. So if you do that, then we'll get started. Why are you asking me to do it? Oh, it's simple. This is just a little bit of what Rifki does every single morning when we get to school. She's always helpful, and these are just part of the jobs. And then throughout the day, there are sometimes other jobs, end of the day, on the weekends. Now Rifki's graduating, so I guess, who, I guess you're gonna be doing this next year. Maybe, no? I'll, maybe we'll get her to stay here for one more year just to do this. I wish. On a serious note, when you do your jobs for us, specifically, I was thinking, you know, every morning when you come to school and you help out and you're always helpful, and one of the things that you do is you take all the radios and you give it out to the different people that need it in different classrooms. And I was thinking, when you do that, you don't just put the radios down, but you always make sure it's on the right channel and you always make sure it's just the right volume. And I was like thinking to myself, you know what, that really sums up a little bit how we feel about you and what you're all about. Because when you do something for someone, you don't just do it because you have to do it. You do it in a way that you want to make sure it, it's barely comfortable for the other person. And so you'll just go the extra mile to make it even better for them. In all of your studies, you work hard, you have your priorities right, and you know what needs to get done and when it needs to get done, and you won't stop. Well, I wanted to talk about two other milers. And the number one is the hard work that you did to the Shidon, which is this test that you took on the Rambam. This is something that you did on your own. We didn't encourage you. And even for this year, we maybe discouraged you because it takes so much time, effort, and energy. But you persisted and you did it. And you reached uh, that level where you got the plaque that you wanted. In addition, it's part of the shul where you really go the extra mile is running the children's program. What the, the effort that you put in, Make sure that it's good, that's enjoyable, it's organized. You come before Shabbos to set everything up. I'm sure that the older children are really going to miss you that you do that. And again, as Mommy said, whatever you do, you do 
I want that to be a springboard for, for the future, what you do in high school and the rest of your life, that you will be, have much atzlacha, you put much energy. I just want to end off by, by saying that um, as you are our youngest in our family and graduating from DTA, we are really going to miss you. But we know you're going to do well next year in, uh, in your high school um, and keep up that um, positive attitude that you have to, <laughs> to get things done. And um, we'll, we will be in touch all the time. And everyone here in school, at home, is, are really going to miss you. And um, so, again, thank you for everything. Continue bringing us Chassidus Shanachas, making the Rebbe proud and our family proud. We love you and are always proud of you. Goldie, I'm so proud of everything you've done. You've accomplished so much this last you know, years here at DTA, um, through yearbook and through all the other Girl Scouts and stuff that you've done here and through schooling. It's like a family here. We're gonna miss you so much. Don't leave. <laughs> Goldie has been coming to Chabad since she was since she was a baby. And through the years, I've seen her, her growth getting better and better and better, and she's graduating now. So to go out to the big wide world to further education in high school and she should be Matsliach in all her school work. Amen. Yaniv, I'm very proud of you. You made it so far until today. And I expect you to go in the future. Wherever you go, God bless you. Continue what you did. And I'm very proud of you. And I'm proud of the TDA that gave you good, good education. I can't ask better than that. Thank you. Yanivrish, Yaniv Netzach Shelanu. Wow, you're finishing a grade. This is amazing. I'm so, so proud of you. You give us so much nachat. That was your bar mitzvah year. You did amazing and you are working very hard. We are so proud of you and in your accomplishment. Um, I, I grateful for DTA for all the education that they gave you and Hashem that eventually made us put you in the great school um, for all the great staff that uh, was uh, on a personal level taking care of even after school hours we never take it for granted uh, I wish you in the future to keep growing and uh, to um, stick to your truth because you are a very honest person and everybody loves to be around you that uh, uh, you're going to grow to be a Talmud Chacham and Be'ezrat uh, Hashem, we're going to see lots of nachat from you just like we are now. I love you very much, honey. Amen. Sarah is the last of my four daughters to graduate DTA. Um, I can't believe we finally got to this point. Um, it's just hard to believe how much you're growing up. You really made your dad and I really proud. I wish DTA would continue on for high school and college and probably the rest of your life because I know that you've had great teachers here and great principals, Mordina, <laughs> and we're just, just really, really proud of you. You've worked very hard and wish you the best for your high school career and for the rest of your life. I just love you a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Just wanted to say uh, how proud of uh, mom and I are of you for graduating and on this milestone of graduating middle school and uh, I want to wish you the best in all your future endeavors and uh, high school is going to be challenging uh, but I will say that I am very impressed with DTA and their faculty and staff and all the Rabbeim and all the Moras in this school that have uh, guided you and taught you uh, very well and set you up for a promising future. The one true meaning that you, I believe that you had out of this school was uh, learning uh, the basics all the way up to some of the Jewish philosophy mm -hmm. and uh, just wanted to say that uh, Midos is very important and uh, I'm very proud to see that you have turned into a beautiful young woman and that you're going to have a bright future ahead of you. So I want to wish you all the best and Mazel Tov, and good luck. You and I just want you to know how proud we are of you. I've seen you grow and mature, and I'm really impressed with uh, how you progressed and how you did this year in school. Uh, you took a lot of initiative in learning, and I'm very proud of you. 
Um, I wish you to be a chassid, you should be connected to the Rebbe. If you hear Shemayim, you should know that Abishra is always with you. And Alamdin, you should have a lot of joy from learning Torah. And I think if you, uh, the way you're going, Hashem will give you a lot of su success in all you do. Mazel Tov, Yona. We are so happy that we are here with you at your eighth grade graduation. A lot you have accomplished, and there is still much more to come. Right now, we are counting Sphera, and there's a story that uh, Rabbi Jacobson just told that I think is very appropriate to share with you at this time about how each day we count. Why are we counting every single day? Because each day matters. It's a there's a story about an affluent man who was trapped in a burning building, and the fireman came in and pulled the man out of the building. And the man was so grateful, he said, I have a lot of money, I want to pay you, how much can I pay you? And the fireman said, no, I was just doing my job. I don't want anything. And the rich man said, no, don't be foolish, I want to pay you. And the fireman looked at him and said, the way you can pay me is by living a life that matters. Live each day worth me saving you. So, bracha from Tati and me is that each day, you should look at each day and say, wow, look what I've accomplished. You are there to help and our family would does not be the same without you. We are so very grateful for you every single day. And we hope that you will go from strength to strength. And from this accomplishment, as amazing and as great as it is, I know that there's going to be many more. We give you a bracha that you should have the strength to just persevere, walk right through, and just make miracles happen in this whole world for your life, for our lives, and for the whole world. Mazel tov. We love you. We're very proud of you. Mazel tov, mazel tov to all the 8th grade graduates. It has been such a pleasure and honor getting to teach you these past two years. Every single one of you has shown tremendous growth over this time. Even when the whole format of school has changed, you kept your good attitude and amazing work throughout it all. I want to wish each of you Hatzlacha next year in high school. I'll miss you all. Keep in touch. Hi graduates, mazel tov. Well, this is certainly an interesting time for you be, to be leaving the school and moving on. I just want you to think about what are the gifts of this time? You know, sometimes it's very uh, easy to fall into the negative, but what can you take from this that will help you in your future? Some of the gifts that I think about is my family time. I loved that things settled down. The earth got a break from all the pollution. So really look at that and say, how can I take a situation like this and make it into something great. And so when you go on to your next school and your next endeavors, think about those things when things aren't necessarily going right or if school is a little too stressful. Think about what can I learn from this? And that's what I want you to take away. I want to wish you the best as you go on and uh, just always, always remember that you have the power to do great things and mazel tov again. Eighth grade girls, I really have enjoyed your creativity, your uh, writing, your conscientious attention to detail. You've been a joy to work with. And boys, not so much the conscientiousness, but the ability to just enjoy whatever it is that we've been doing and to be able to have fun in class and still get the work done. So eighth grade, it's no secret. Uh, when I first started teaching here, I was your computer teacher and you were my hardest class. And now we're saying goodbye. And honestly, I would give anything to be in the front of the classroom and have you guys in my seats. So thank you for everything. Boys, I love teaching seventh and eighth grade because I get to see you when you progress the most and really become men. And even in front of a camera, in front of a Zoom camera, I was able to see you guys growing and progressing I wish you the best of luck and much success in Yeshiva next year. Dear 8th graders, my favorite students, it was a joy teaching you. I would like to wish you much success on your continued journey in studying and take the good, the best and the awesome with you and we'll always remember you.
Eighth grade, thank you so much for welcoming me. This was an amazing year. You are going to be sorely missed and I really can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. You are amazing and enjoy your summer. Mazel tov to our graduates of the year 5780, 2019-2020. Our 17 graduates, 17 is numerical value of Tov. Tov means good. In this case, it would be great. It was a great class. I also like to mention the end of the year was a little challenging, but we had to close the school due to the COVID-19. But special kudos to our teachers, to our staff, to the parents, and yes, to the students. We put together this uh, great online schooling, and thank God we were able to finish off the year strong with the education. I want to give you a bracha to all the graduates that wherever you go next year, you should have much success. You continue to bring nachas to the school, to your parents, and I wish you all to be like a menorah, to be a lamplight, is that you will bring the light that you learned here in the Desert Torah Academy for, you, for the future years, for the future school, and may we all be zocha for the coming of Mashiach, where we'll be celebrating the greatest simcha, the rebuilding of the Beis HaMikdash. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Mazel tov, mazel tov to our 17 graduates. Nothing is by coincidence. This is our 17th eighth grade DTA graduation. And 17 in Hebrew is the word tov. Tov means good. And when I think of each and every one of you graduates, I think of only good things because you are a fantastic class. Each of you are so helpful and such good role models for all the other students in our school. A very special class and I will truly, truly miss you. I'm hoping that each of you will take everything you have learned from DTA in all the years and use it in your future schooling and in your future life and continue to inspire everyone around you. And remember, learning's important, but of course having proper and good derech eretz and nice midos is just as important. I know we find ourselves in a very strange time where we can't have our physical graduation and uh, this pandemic has definitely makes us think of, of, of all different thoughts and we wonder why is this happening. But we always have to remember that Hashem has a plan and we always have to remember that we're always in Hashem's hands. And whatever happens is for the good. So mazel tov, mazel tov. Let me begin by congratulating all of our eighth graders on their graduation. No one could have imagined that we would be ending our school year on Zoom classrooms, but the Torah teaches us that Hashem only tests a person as much as they can stand. This happened particularly this year because you are such a strong and great class. Other classes would not have been able to handle this. The Rebbe teaches us if we truly trust, not believe, trust in Hashem, that Hashem could save us from anything in the wink of an eye. So keep your trust. Hashem is going to save us not only soon but now, and you will be able to move forward with all your plans and dreams. Once again, Mazel Tov. I'm thankful to my parents for sending me to DTA because I could not get such great friends anywhere else. I am thankful for my parents sending me here because even though it was in the middle of the first trimester, all my friends made it very smooth, the transition, and it was very nice. I'm thankful to my parents for sending me here because the staff here is the best, and it's really the greatest of both worlds. I'd like to thank my parents for sending me to DTA because of the friends I've made here. A lot of my best friends I've met here, and I thank them for that. I thank my parents for sending me here because it was such a great experience meeting all new friends and learning here. I'm thankful for my mom for sending me here because the relationships here are amazing and everybody treats each other well. I'm grateful for my mother sending me here because I got a great education and it was fun. I'm thankful that my parents sent me to DTA because all the staff here are super nice and friendly and very welcoming. I'm thankful for my parents for sending me here because I learned so many new things that I could take with me into my life. I am thankful to my parents for sending me to DTA because the school really brought out the best in me. I'm thankful for my parents sending me to DTA because I got to meet all of my best friends and it's an amazing school. I'm thankful for my parents for sending me to DTA because they made a lot of great memories. I learned a lot. I thank my parents for sending me here 
because it's a really good school environment and it's good Jewish education. I'm thankful for my parents for sending me to DTA because I had a good Jewish education. I am thankful for my parents for sending me to DTA because I get to be in a Jewish environment and have Jewish close friends. I'm thankful to my parents for sending me here because Desert Torah Academy is truly the best of both worlds.